There are at least 400,000 stroke patients in Thailand suffered from movement disorder. These patients have to go through the rehabilitation program in order to regain their motor movement. And a typical hand rehab program is to pick up an object and move it around. The problem is that this kind of rehab is not motivating. Sometimes patients get bored and give up. So we come up with an idea to help them. The key of our device is that first, it should be fun to use so that patients have self-motivation. Second, it should be small enough so that they can use it at home. And third, physicians should be able to monitor the usage. And we call our device Fukfon. Fukfon, arm rehabilitation device, is a collaborative effort within Mahidon University, including School of Engineering, Computer Science Division International College, and Golden Jubilee Medical Center. The device is simple and can help stroke patients improve arm control. The main idea of Fukfon is to use the hand movement to control game animation. Basically, we take a typical arm skateboard and then add electronic into it. We use color sensor and a typical color pad. When patients move arm around, the color sensor can detect the hand position and that we use it as a command to control game. Commercial device that use the movement control to play the game actually available. The problem is those devices are designed for normal people, for stroke patients who have very slow movement and they cannot use this kind of device. And also for medical device that is specifically designed for the rehab. Fukfon has been given to several hospitals for testing and patient feedback is positive. One of the testers is Irin Thor National Medical Rehabilitation Institute. This national institute serves a great idea of stroke patients. Previously, occupational therapists used the manual skateboard in order to increase movement in upper extremity. We also use game or activity to facilitate cognition and perception. However, the manual skateboard is not control time, speed and posture to use it. After Fukfon was used with our patients, we found many benefits in upper extremity movement more than the original skateboard. Each game in Fukfon has different movement characteristics. The therapist can choose the game to match the movements that they want to focus on. The game encourages patients to move in the direction that the therapist controls. Besides benefits in movement Fukfon, it also improves cognition and perception as well as memory ability. For example, in course of motor planning, decision making movement, visual perception, color and shape at left light discrimination. Fukfon can be used in rehabilitation. The benefit consists of increased the patient ability in motor, perception and cognition. Because of the game is fun and enjoyable. It also increases motivation and cooperative of the patient. Moreover, it can manufacture in the country. Another tester is Rajanukun Institute. Fukfon is also applied to children with neurological conditions. Feedback from those children is heartwarming. OT department using Fukfon program and apply Fukfon program for practice autistic children, ADHD, Down syndrome, and cerebral palsy. The prominent point of this program are perceived inhibitory control, eye hand coordination, waiting time, visual perception, and range of motion of hand. The children must thinking strategy by themselves and planning processing movement by themselves. Fukfon program is similar to game. It can motivate and integrate in children. And it can adjust the level depending on their skills. In cerebral palsy, children can improve range of motion of upper extremity and encourage academic skill, including quality of life. 
so far we have distributed the device to about 40 hospitals in Thailand to get some feedback for improvement and we are making it more and we aim to distribute it to every hospital in Thailand. Most medical devices in Thailand are actually imported at very high cost. Some of them is actually very simple. So if we could find the right technology, it doesn't have to be the most expensive one. It just has to be effective. If we could find the right solution to the right problem, this simple device could have a huge impact on patient's life.